Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're gonna do some just some sketching and some play with some fountain pens. Sorry for the jiggly camera. I just I just thought I tightened that up. Anyway, um, so what I did was I went on to Unsplash and I made a a collection called Fountain Pen Birds. I will share my collection there so you can sketch along with me if you want. We're just gonna do some drawing. Um, and these are so fun. I found these on Amazon. They were, uh, let's see, how much were they? They were, I think, $8.99. Yes, $8.99, and there were six, you got 16 pens, and I thought that was a great deal. So, um, yeah, you know what? I don't know if I'll be able to... I'm trying to think what would work out the best. Maybe if I slide this over, I can have this in my hand and I can sketch at the same time you can see it. But of course you can find, oh, I have so much on my desk right now and I'm trying to like move things. It's just not working well. All right, I'm gonna start off and sketch the, uh, the belly of the bird. Anyway, sometimes you have these, um, you'll find something and it will just get you out of an art block. And that's what I was finding with these fountain pens. I took this sketchbook that I really did not like and I started just drawing in it and I filled pages. I filled pages and pages. I'll show you that before we go. But anyway, I filled all these pages of the sketchbook and I thought this is so fun. I think I want to do a video on that because that might help other people that are having a, a similar a similar art block to, to what I am having and it might be might be nice. I have the gesture of this completely wrong but you know what? That's fine because when we're done it's gonna look it's gonna look fine. Um let me take a little bit of this. There's no yellow unfortunately in this set. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this uh orange there's no yellow and no brown. That would be awesome if there was, but there isn't. So then I've got a water brush here and I am just going to drag the color around. And this is our bad pancake, right? This is our first one. First one's always a bit of a bad, bad pancake. Now the nice thing about the fountain pens that you can't really do with a felt tip pen is you can go back in and it doesn't and it's not going to hurt anything. So I can go back in with my black. And I can add some more to this. And it'll actually kind of scribe the paper as well and give me some texture. But I was just like in love with these little lines. I have a little, that's a little too wet there for me to be able to do anything. But I can come back to that later and add more to that. But there, we got our, we got our first bad pancake done. We're going to go to another one. Let's see. Oh, that's a little cute one. We'll sketch him. We'll sketch him up here. Now, if I did that with a felt tip pen or a micron, I would have nothing right now coming out for ink. It would just be a big mess. These are liquid filled so that you can see how much ink you have in them. And I mean, I just couldn't believe the price. It was like 50 cents a pen. So you definitely aren't going to feel too precious when you're only spending 50 cents a pen. At least in my, in my opinion anyway. Maybe, maybe you are. I certainly can't speak for anyone else, but for me, Comparatively, compared to the other stuff I have, that that's a uh, that's a bargain as far as an art supply. Now I'm doing this in a sketchbook because, um, and you don't need to have a fancy, expensive sketchbook. This is kind of an expensive one, but um, you don't have to have anything expensive. Certainly not. Since I'm holding my phone with one hand, I'm just kind of leaving the caps off. But obviously, you don't want to leave the caps off for a long period of time. But I just found this whole like this whole process to just be so much fun. I think you could also use well you could use whatever you have honestly. Um, but I think like if you also had like the real brush pens, I should maybe grab one of those in brown. You could use that because that would that you can go over wet paint with the real brush pens and it's fine. 
get some glue on the surface there, I think. Grab a water brush. And, you know, if you need muddier colors, you need browns, and you can just uh, let your colors mix a little bit more. I think that is so fun. Actually, I wanted to show you what I did for in my sketchbook. In the other sketchbook. I'll show you that really quick. It's right here. So I didn't like the sketchbook, and so I had a few things in it already, and, and I didn't like them. So what I did was I wrote Book of Experimentation in the gel pens and drew a little guy here. Um, and drew some of some lines in the water and then for these I had some swatches so I turned all these swatches into people into ladies and I drew a quilt kind of in the middle and I kind of thought of them all whispering around a sewing bee a sewing circle then I turned these swatches into a ferris wheel and put some people hanging around waiting for their turn on the ferris wheel and that was I didn't do anything to that one but this was my first attempt with these pens and I loved how I could blend the colors and then this was just with a black pen just doodling and it made a little carnival ride with people on the swing thing and I was just you know just doodling really wasn't thinking about anything I didn't record anything I was just playing and uh this shop front is from Alice Lim's shop front challenge she does on Instagram I sketched it out it didn't come out very good but I didn't care and I was again just kind of sketching fruit and you know just some random stuff and that's kind of how I got the idea to do this these were faces and I loved how I did the monochrome faces and I thought this would be really fun to just show a quick like kind of doodly demo um that was my dog was lying next to me on the couch so i sketched her really quick and yeah i think stuff like that that kind of gets you out of your out of your um out of your head my phone is so gross i need to turn up the brightness because i can't even see it back to the right thing um so yeah anything that you can do I think to break yourself out of these like ruts when you're in them it's really nice it's really helpful and I'm going kind of fast just because I want to show you that you do not have to uh, you do not have to be precious about this at all you just kind of grab your colors and start making marks and, and have a good time I want to go back to that first one because uh, I don't really like how he's looking. I don't really, I feel like he needs more and I'm just going to go to the whole other color that's not even there. You know, get, get sketchy with it, have fun. So hopefully these are still in stock. I, I, I uh, posted about it on Instagram, like right after I was playing with them. So I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then I looked today and there was like five left in stock. So, um, but there's a lot, it seems to be lots of sellers that sell this exact same product for different prices. So I think you'll be able to find it if you want. All right, let's go to another one. Let's not spend too much time on any of these. Uh, oh, I like that. I like that gesture there of that of that um, cardinal. Actually, let's sketch it with orange, and then we can uh, go in with the red more. So we got this. Looking at the shapes. As we go get that gesture of the head. We got the uh, kind of that cone of the beak. We got a branch. in front of the the branches a little branch piece that's coming in front that I'm going to omit and then we've got this uh, 
and a box of black. All right, now let's grab the red. Now, you're not going to get a ton of color, so, you know, once you start adding water to it, it's going to really mute out, so you will need to make sure you put plenty in there. And if you want really gestural lines, you'll probably have to go back in afterwards and add those. Oh, I should have made my camera, my uh, phone stay awake longer. You know what I mean? Um, do I want to do any black? I'll do a little bit of black before I add water. Not too much though, because I want to, I don't want everything to just to become black. I'll try to keep a, a little highlight there, maybe a little bit of black there. Okay, back to our, get the rag here so I can blot my brush if I need to. And I mean, you can, you can dissolve everything. You can let some of the lines show. It's completely up to the look you're after. I like this kind of uh, gesture that the bird has is kind of like sassy, this sassy look. Different papers are going to perform differently. I feel like the uh, the ink dissolves, like I feel like it's absorbing a little bit more in this uh, cotton paper than it was in the cellulose. I also really like the, uh, the more intense lines you can get when you go back in once it's like while it's still wet. I know I'm like uh, somewhat capping sometimes and sometimes not capping because it's like, ah, I, I, it's a habit. It's like, ah, oh, leaving my pens uncapped. Seems so wrong. I know these seem kind of scratchy, but I think it's just the uh, just the watercolor paper. I didn't find these to be very scratchy. Oh man, that was out of frame for that one. Oh, so sorry. Uh, I should probably just scrap this, but I'm gonna keep on going. Maybe I'll just edit that one out. Um, that one is kind of cute. Let's sketch it with the blue. And like I said, use whatever, whatever paper you want to use. If it, if it makes you feel uh, stressed out to use a really nice paper, then don't use, uh, use whatever. And different papers are going to give you different levels of liftability. This is a lilac breasted roller, I believe. So it's very, very bright colored bird. Orange is probably our closest thing to brown. As scratching might be driving somebody nuts. 
I'm sure you'll tell me about it if it is. People don't like to hold back when something bothers them about a video. That's one thing I've learned. All right. Oh, it's cute. Let's see, what else? Kingfisher, I feel like I've done it. I've done a Kingfisher recently. Oh, that one's cute. Let's, let's do that one. Boom, right here, we'd fit him in here as a little. Oh yeah, I should put the caps, the caps do post on the back of these. That would make sense to, uh, to do that so I don't get confused as to what cap goes on what. Cute, very cute. Ooh, could do a robin. They're kind of like all one teardrop shape, kind of. These little ones, these little spring robins. It's not like the robins we have here in our country. They're a little bit bigger. These are very, very cute. Orange. Tiny little beak. It's a nice challenge to be able to get the color you want with those pens because it's such a limited, limited selection of colors.
fun though, super fun. Maybe we'll do the Kingfisher because he is. Felt that space, I think. And do them a little bit bigger, I think. Is that the right blue? I think so. I think we can do that. Turn on as well.
I know my phone dims at about two minutes, or it times out at two minutes, so you can, you can kind of see how fast you're going. Oh, goodness, that had some blue on it. Let's get that in the shadows then. It's really hard to talk while I'm trying to draw quickly. I'm pretty happy with how many birds I was able to draw in 28 minutes or less with the amount of time that my camera will record for. I think that's I think that's pretty good actually. What is it then? 27 minutes 33 seconds? Yeah, that's not bad. I got 44 seconds for it uh, for my camera shuts off. P possibly the laziest content I've ever produced for this channel. I don't know, maybe. Paper's too wet for my my pen, but there you have it. I think that was pretty. Uh, I think that's pretty good. And I hope you give something like this a try. Just uh, just start drawing and see where it takes you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.